It is Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show right now. It's home to Reese in the middays, and man, we got a huge fight going down on Showtime this weekend with Tank Davis looking to take that uh, that vacant title. But right now, when it comes to boxing and when it comes to Atlanta, we have to bring this guy to the building. You talk about Alabama made him, born homes, raised him, and still in our hearts and in our souls in Atlanta, the undefeated champion of the world, Evander Real Deal Holyfield. What's going on, sir? Nothing much. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, man. Uh, you you know you are woven into the history of boxing. When you talk about a guy that unified the belt on two different weight classes, uh, we haven't seen anybody do that since. And when you think about names in boxing, that's ridiculous. Well, you know, I, you know, I was told that I could be like Muhammad Ali, <laughs> but I, I I remember when they were asking, "Do you want to break Ali record?" Mm. I'm like, well, no. They said, "Why not?" That mean that you have to lose. I said, look, I ain't planning on losing. Right. I just want to be the best I can be. Uh huh. Yeah. Absolutely, man. We got a Vander Holyfield in here right now. We're talking about you know his legacy a little bit and about boxing. When you you mention names like Ali, uh, those those are the guys that kind of you know put that fire under your belly a little bit. Well, well yeah, yeah, because I when I mean, I was told at eight years old I could be like that mm -hmm. if I listen, follow direction, not quit. Yeah. So you know. It take a lot not to quit. I know. And then you were late bloomer, too, so I know that that kind of exactly. a little bit. But you shot on up there. Well, I mean, eventually. Mm -hmm. You know, eventually, you, you, you know, the art of the game is, is consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Consistency. And, mm -hmm. you know, I got an opportunity to go to the boys' club, and the boys' club kind of right. helped me stay on, the, stay on the path. Right. Which which one was it? Because I know it's a gym at the, uh, at the PAL over there right now. No, right. this is Warren Boys Club. Warren Boys right. Club by the Grand. Absolutely, been over there plenty of times. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Vander Weir, dear Holyfield. You know how how inspirational it is to have you here. I was able to go over to the gym and see the media workout for Davis's for Tank's media workout, and there was so many young kids in there just fighting. And I asked them, you know, who's your favorite boxer? And they say Holyfield, or they say Tank, or they say this guy. You know what I mean? But your name keeps coming up. To be relevant in this day and age, man, how does it make you feel? Well. Yeah. Made me feel good because the fact the fact of the matter, you know, I was that kid that nobody said nothing to me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it seemed like if you were poor, mm -hmm. and nobody liked you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but your dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> but but you know, but me going to the boys' club gave me that opportunity, and mm -hmm. uh, here I am. Uh, absolutely, here you are with us. I, I really appreciate you making time to come by this station, man. Especially on a big fight this weekend. They see you, your fight is twenty one years old today, man. Well, this week, you know, the fight is twenty one years since they had a, a championship fight down here, and you were able to do that. That day, the day you made a little baked beans in the ring, you know well, what I mean? Well, well you know, um, the thing is, is that you know you have to give you you have to you have to actually you have to show people by your example by what you do. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, they, like they say, you know, 20 years ago, but here it is now, and you got another mm -hmm. another fighter come in here, David, to do the same thing. Right. Best fighter, you know. Mm -hmm. When they talk about Showtime, this guy is Showtime. He's definitely Showtime. For you to say that, that means a lot because you had the power, you had the speed, you had the skills, the science. It seems like Tank is, is, is kind of walking in those lines of footsteps, too. It takes a special fighter to sell out an arena in Atlanta. Well, you're, you're absolutely right. I'm, mm -hmm. You know, this guy has it. Mm. Let me tell you, he got good backers, you know. He, yeah, he, yeah. Mayweather. Yeah, he got. Said, you know, <laughs> then, then plus, he got a lot of good people who follow him. Yeah. yeah. So he's able to attract people. Absolutely, like absolutely. That. So we just, you know, want want the people them football game when the game is over. Mm -hmm. Slide on over, mm -hmm. slide over, and show up, show, show up. You know, they're showing up. This thing is all but sold out. We talking about State Farm Arena. When you walked into the ring on that night. Uh, twenty almost twenty years ago, when you walked into the ring in your city, because this is your city, how did you feel? What was going through your head? Well, you know, you know, I was honored. <clears> you know, <throat> I was honored. But the most important thing is that what I feel, I had to keep my mind on the fight. Right. But you know, because you know what, you know, when you win, they say we, we did won. it, man. <laughs> we won it. If you lose, you lose by yourself. Yeah, you but lost. You always remember. You got to always remember. You got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. and, just, and I think you do a great job. I got you. So that would be your advice to get Tank this weekend? Exactly. You know, look, hey, stay focused. Mm -hmm. I Speak got first. you. <laughs> Win and then party. Up, <laughs> Absolutely. We're we kicking it right now with Evander Real Deal Holyfield, man, about this huge fight that's going down on Showtime. What was one of the, like, the biggest moments for you just as a fighter? Well, I, the 
them two. I have one when when I made the Olympic team. Mm-hmm. When I made the Olympic team. I couldn't believe when you know my first fight in the Olympics, and the people yelled yelled so loud. Mm-hmm. They said, "Representing the United States, Evander Holyfield." Man, everybody. I said, "Every time my first time, everybody in the mm-hmm. arena because uh-huh. we was in a, we was in America." Yeah, <laughs> representing the country. Yeah, yeah, and and all these people streamed to. They just it scared the daylights out. <laughs> And but I, and I got to go perform, man. right? So you know, when you when a, everybody cheer for you, then showing you that they love you. Yeah. Now, now you got to perform. Now you can you really got to go out there. Yeah. And, and that's they, a real that's the real we because you represent the whole country well, and yeah, you man, as well as yourself. But I knocked the guy out. You did. You definitely did. did. That's in the record books. <laughs> <laughs> knocked him out. I'm telling you, so that's you know that's that's pretty much what it is. When, mm-hmm. The bigger you become, all of you get bigger. Yeah. And you know what? You just have to win. Have to win. Yeah, keep winning. You did that. You did that on, on two different weight classes repeatedly, repeatedly. I remember catching some of those fights on pay-per-view. And, you know, you had those big, those trilogy fights, those dual fights, man. Uh, what what opponent kind of gave you the most headache? Oh, well, ready for <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I knew that was it. I just wanted to know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> ready ready for now we friends, man. We're right. Friends. I'm like, but I'm I'm four years older than him. Uh huh. But you know, actually, I'm six years. I'm six mm-hmm. years older. Mm-hmm. And 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 but he gave me blues mm-hmm. every time we fought. I know he looked up to you too, so I know it's like yeah, a bittersweet. That, yeah. That's, kind of, <laughs> that's what I'm kind of saying because he, you know, he he was in '88. Mm-hmm. He was in '88 Olympics. And right. I was '84. Right. And this guy, when we fought, it was a, it was bad. But you talking about. You know, I remember my mama telling me after that fight, I fought him. She said, "Son, you need to stop." Because <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, he was a lot bigger than me. Yeah. But, what? But I, I got them knots on my head. I came back the second fight. I beat him. Right. They just sent a fan man in there. Mm-hmm. Just slow the fight down. <laughs> I know you were, man. We all remember that fight. We remember a lot of your fights, some memorable fights, man. What guy? I know that guy gave you the headache. You know what I mean? Because it, it was so many dynamics playing onto that. What fighter did you not want to see uh, coming back into that ring? Because I know you were that guy for a lot of people. Well, you know, actually, I I love challenge. Mm-hmm. It's all this and stuff. So the thing is, the most rewarding fight. The bigger the opponent. When I fought Tyson. Mm-hmm. So it's just the reason why it was so awarding because, you know, Everybody thought I was a good guy. Everybody mm-hmm. thought Evander was good at two shoes. He'll never get in trouble. <laughs> right. And so, you know, so most of the people kind of like Tyson. Right. They said, we're going to see what's going to happen when we get in there with Tyson. Right. And when I won that fight, I didn't have to have nobody talk about what's going to happen. <laughs> right. When he went into Tyson. <laughs> you know, so after the second fight, you know, it was just everybody knew. Everybody knew. Uh, everybody, yeah. everybody knew that. Yeah. Thing. You know what? The whole series. The, whole, the real deal. That's the real deal. <laughs> if you didn't have that name, you would have got that name after those fights. Well, Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Right now, we we right now kicking it with the real deal, Holyfield. We talking about some of his uh his his classic fights that we kind of all came up on the ground. I mean, my dad, we watched the fights and he's really in the box and he'd be like, "Man, you can't knock that guy. Out. He don't have a neck." He's like, <laughs> 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 "Said Holyfield, he's too strong, man." Um, what what do you think your biggest attribute was as a fighter? Because I know I, a lot of people think power, but you really studied the game. Well, well, no, my, my, my biggest I believe in Jesus, mm-hmm. and, and I'm I'm always gonna ask the Holy Spirit to help me. Yes, but sir. You know, comes, you know, I used to get whoopings, man. My mom <laughs> behind. If I that was do, the first time you learned how to use yeah, defense. Yeah, <laughs> if, if God helped me when I said, "Please, please, Jesus, help me," <laughs> my mama stopped whooping me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I realized anything can stop my mama can stop anybody. <laughs> Yeah, hey, that's it. That's the first time you learn your defensive shuffles and everything, huh? Yeah. I think I had the same teacher <laughs> trying to dodge that belt. <laughs> Evander Real Deal Holyfield, man, what do you see in the, in this fight coming up on Showtime Saturday night, tomorrow night? Well, it's, it's, it's going to be a great fight. I'm both of the fights. Right. You got two tough fights. 
Mm-hmm. But somehow, you know, like when youth is your strength, yeah, and you have the ability and the power, mm-hmm. I'm like, so you know, you have to be first. Yeah, you have to get that guy because you know older people are thinking. You you sit here, yeah, and 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 rest mm-hmm. on the older guy. They are He's thinking. He's calculating. Yeah, and they go calculate to win. Yeah, so, you know, as long as the guy in the fight, he stand a chance to win. So so you know, you have to you have to let the youth be your strength. And, yeah. Older person got to think. Yeah, there it is, man. So we're gonna see a little experience versus a little uh, agility and, and youthfulness exactly. in the ring. There it is, a Van Real Deal Holyfield. We appreciate you coming by, man, and giving us a few minutes of your time. You are a legend in the city. We want to salute you as such, sir. So thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you. There it is, Hot 107.9. We gone.